Well, why, why, why don't you tell? Why don't you tell us about these panic buttons for MPs here? So we got news. I think it was yeah, it was a couple days ago, and the what is it? The, the National Observer or Canadian Press? It might have been. They wrote a story about how MPs are now receiving panic buttons, which they're allowed to. They're they're supposed to hold on to, and they can press. If they're if they feel they're in danger now, this is supposedly because Candace they're receiving mean tweets and and death threats online from anonymous users or or things like that. And and of course this is coming from Marco Mendicino, a Canadian who I think most people uh, quite detest at the moment because he's been caught lying and he's been used by Justin Trudeau to push the Emergencies Order and the Emergencies Act. And so now because he's receiving lots of mean tweets and lots of comments on social media. He has ordered a bunch of panic buttons for MPs to hold on to when they go outside. I mean, I can't really think of anything more emasculating uh, for a, 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 a politician who's supposed to represent the people holding a panic button whenever a constituent might come up to them and air some grievances, Candace. It's really, really embarrassing stuff. And, you know, I put this out on Twitter because when I, when I read this story, the first thing I thought about was the fact that the honor in being a politician, the honor in representing Canadians has completely gone. There used to be this idea that if you were if you were called a liar or if someone did something dishonorable as a politician, not only would you take serious issue with it, not only would that person be expected to resign, but as I mentioned here, in 1849, John A. Macdonald challenged a, an opposition politician to a duel. So they put their life on the line to defend their honor and to defend the defend basically the, the institution of the House of Commons. Where has that honor gone? Imagine being a politician now holding a panic button in the same house where where politicians used to have real honor. They used to actually take the job seriously and they used to put their life on the line because they believed in what they were doing. I think this is just a symptom, Candace, of of, of how far our politics has fallen. And I, I followed that up, that tweet up with but this, you know, how, what year was it? 2012, 2011 or wherever, when a terrorist stormed the House of Par the House of Commons armed with a gun after killing a soldier in broad daylight. You didn't, and MPs had to basically shelter in place in the House of Commons because a terrorist was on the loose inside the House of Commons. There was not a single MP who had the, who had really the, the audacity to call for a panic button. They just got on with the job. They did the job that Canadians asked them to do, and they weren't crying and whining about mean tweets. It's, we, we've fallen so far, I can't imagine being a liberal MP and holding one of these lame panic buttons. Like I said on Twitter, I can't imagine being such a loser.